Ah, huh. beautiful Friday morning, stunning with the 10.6 Ks, almost 54 minutes, 507 pace. Heart rate was around 140, in the low 140s, but uh, my heart rate monitor was acting up. There's always something, I don't know if you noticed this, but for me at least, there's always something that's working against me. There are never times when everything is working perfectly fine. I'm now dealing with, I think it is a shin splint. It's not like hurting or anything, but I'm feeling it in the wrong place. And it definitely shouldn't feel like that because it's not the muscle. It feels like it's the bone or the shin or to the side of the shin. <sighs> There's always something, always something going on not working in your favor. That's just what life is about. Just have to deal with things that get thrown at you. <laughs> Something interesting that I want to share about dopamine, something that I heard yesterday in a podcast from Andrew Huberman and uh, Steven, the guy with the diary of a CEO. If you're interested in stuff like that, go check it out, definitely. He said, or basically a part of it was, you have like a bucket of dopamine that you can use and hits of dopamine that you can get until you're fried and feel exhausted. And I definitely noticed that with when I'm consuming too much crap on the internet and I'm on social media. Obviously when you're scrolling on Instagram, TikTok and whatever, you get dopamine hits non-stop. And there's like this uh, dopamine base level, baseline, where if you get like hits, you're on social media or you watch something, you get instant gratification, those dopamine levels rise, you feel great about yourself and you feel happy in that moment, but then the higher or the bigger the, the rises of the dopamine levels, the bigger the crash and you get below your baseline. And what happens when you're in, below the baseline, you feel exhausted, you feel drained, you feel not like doing anything at all. And you're craving even more dopamine when you're below that baseline. And the only thing that you can do is wait and just let those dopamine levels <laughs> replenish by themselves. There's nothing you can do about it. The thing with doing physical activity or cold plunges and cold water exposure is that the dopamine levels tend to rise over a prolonged period of time during the day. And it's not like a when you eat a cookie or scroll through social media that you get an instant hit and an instant crash. It's uh, similar to when you eat sugar or crave like sweets and, and stuff like that. You get an insulin spike when you eat sugar, your insulin spikes up after a short period of time it uh, gives you a great crash and you crave even more sugar. So the thing that happens is when you're below that baseline, when the insulin crashes, you feel crap, you feel exhausted, you feel drained and you want another hit of dopamine and you want more sugar. So only thing that you can do is sustain from sugar and with time you'll see that you're, you'll stop craving sugar. So it's almost similar like that graph. Um, but I found that interesting. That's just something that I wanted to share because it's um, important that you, you know, pay attention to what you're frying your brain with and where you're getting your dopamine from because going out for a run in the morning, great hit of dopamine. <laughs> and uh, if you do physical activity, great hit of dopamine. But if you just get up straight away and go on your phone, on social media, Instagram and scroll through it mindless and get those dopamine hits without having to work for it, more likely than not, you're gonna feel like absolute shit afterwards and during the day because you didn't accomplish anything and you got dopamine and now you're below that dopamine baseline and feel like crap. But that small tangent on dopamine and uh, I don't know, just find stuff like that interesting. But yeah, start this day off strong, boom. You know how we do it? I'll catch you for the gym session, I think. Oh, baby. Woo. <laughs> Let's go. Let's go hit some chest. I'm gonna hit a flat bed, flat barbell bench press. Gotta get that strength back. Gotta get this chest growing somehow. But uh, yeah, I'm trying my best. We already got our dopamine hit pumping out music. I had a pre-workout, caffeine is kicking in, dopamine is woo, skinny arms, but uh, still looking and feeling good. <laughs> woo, let's go, baby. <laughs>
yes, 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 we are done. That was a good one. Intense, quick, and boy, I'm a weak, weak ass boy. <laughs> On the uh, bench press, need to get back into the fundamentals, man. Just bench pressing, getting back into it. Uh, yeah, man, it's a staple. I can't just neglect it. I've been doing too much uh incline dumbbell presses and not focusing on the fundamentals need to get this, this chest to grow i need, need to get stronger and build some muscle get a juicy chest quick update i was 72.7 kgs kilograms body weight this morning and i say i'm still decently shredded i mean under that down lighting obviously the lighting is insane in that stretching room but I'm maybe slightly fluffier and the veins are not popping as much. I don't know, you be the judge. Been eating in a surplus almost nonstop without excuse. Have energy to go out, go for the runs, but I just need to pay attention to this stupid shin splint or whatever it is. I uh, just need to recover a bit. Um, gonna take off tomorrow or tomorrow's gonna be a rest day. Uh, from the gym as and for running as well but we're gonna go for a nice bike ride so stay tuned for that it's gonna be sick my longest ride to date let's get some food in the body and make some gains feed these muscles because they're hungry <laughs> let's go as always get after it if you haven't trained already this is your reminder to go out and train get pumping get flowing Go running, go on the bike, do something, get the blood flowing. Because that's key. Movement is the medicine. Movement is the fountain of the youth. Is that even a saying? I don't know. <laughs> but it keeps you young. So get moving, baby. Let's go. <laughs>